Chill. Just chill. Continue to have fun. Now, by fun, I'm not recommending you go out, drink your brains out at the bar and do something stupid. But my goodness, go hunting, go fishing, get a mountain bike, go hiking, go to the gym. Go hang out around a barbecue fire with friends and just act silly and act goofy and be your age. Be your age and, uh, and just embrace the process. And don't look for what you are supposed to be fully, completely polished, sharpened, edged, tempered. As soon as you as a person decide that you're not going to lie anymore, and that whatever problem that you have, you're going to deal with that problem right then where it presents itself. It'll show you a whole new side of you. Do not be discouraged by the struggle. Mm -hmm. The struggle is a good sign that the Spirit of God is at work in your life. Yeah. If you're not struggling in any way over sin, I worry about you. Yeah. But if you're that person's like, dude, I'm just struggling, good, good, bro. Mm -hmm. Because what you're recognizing is, is that there's this war, as you said, raging between your flesh and the spirit. And both of these are trying to win out over the other. You yeah. know, your flesh is trying to draw you away from God and toward sin. And the spirit of God is trying to draw you away from sin and, and toward God in a life of righteousness. And so that internal battle shows that the spirit is in you, that you have been saved, that he is working to save you in present time from the power of sin. Be encouraged by the struggle. Yeah. Lean into the struggle. Yeah. The great news is the spirit of God can give you power to put the flesh to death, that the flesh has no authority over you. As Paul says in Romans 8, you're not obligated to sin any longer. I found out that your worst enemy is you and your ability to stay true to the thing that you want to do. If you lie to yourself and cheat yourself, well, then you're not fooling anybody but yourself. But if you actually get up every day and you got that action, and you got that energy that's like, I have to go and do this because I'm trying to get here. And you know every day you're working towards that, well, you're going to get there. It may take you longer. Some may do it shorter, but you're not going to lose. Right. A little of the poison okay. that kills you will redeem you. Look upon that which you fear and grow, right? That's the, that's the definition of growth. That's how you learn. You go out on the edge and you look at something poisonous and you get stronger, right? And so God thinks, well, I'm not going to get rid of the snakes, but I'll make the Israelites stronger. And you asked why we have a challenge in front of it. It's like, we're here to become stronger. We're not here to be protected. And you get stronger in proportion to your willingness to look at what terrifies you. Small minds discuss other people, gossip. Good minds discuss events, great minds discuss ideas. Do all that you can do, and when you've done all you can do, and hell still comes to breakfast, let it finish out, then pick up the pieces, learn from it, and start all over again. Like anything in life, whether it's becoming a father or, you know, losing your dad and having your mom to take care of, everything can be a source of inspiration. Everything can be used to either stoke that fire or put it out. You do not have to say yes. The enemy wants you to believe the lie that you have to say yes, yeah. that the flesh is too strong for you, that you can't overcome it, but the Spirit of God is there so that you can. Yeah. And so as long as you will walk in step with Him and, and yield to Him each day and ask Him for what you need to put the flesh to death, He'll give it to you and then He'll lead you in the way you should go. Hard work brings great rewards. This is a reminder of the hard work and dedication that I put into everything that I've done. I'm not content because I know where I came from and I don't ever want to go back. Effort, dedication, work hard, because the talent is not enough anymore. And if you're not dedicated 100%, you're not going to reach the level that you want. For example, you arrive home, you had a lunch, you do it a quick nap, and you wake up, you play with your kids, blah, blah. 
and I have to do, I have to go to the gym at least 30, 40 minutes, but this will make the difference in the end of the day, you understand? If you you not do it that that work, you miss one. The next day, if you it's two sessions that you lost. And I know in the end of the day, in the hand, they're gonna make a huge difference. Nobody knows what you are. Like even even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are. You got to take your shot, and it, it's like as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all. It's not gonna be like that all the time. You got to do it alone. This is so true. And when you when you do these things, you'll start seeing that. Okay, well, I used to do this, and when you go out and you don't do it anymore it's very very clear that you've made the right decision because your friends will still be doing that and you'll find yourself that you don't fit in with the crowd anymore you just don't fit in i think you would give me everything you own in 25 years time to be the age you are now and as healthy as you are right now and i think it's a really interesting meditation to think about right if you had a time machine if you were 30 years in the future if you could be this healthy and feel this good and be this age, you'd give everything materially that you own in 30 years' time to be back here. And just that, just to take that in for a minute, just to take a moment to think about, wow, we're this is amazing. Everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen, no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. It doesn't matter how hard you work as an individual, if you accept mediocrity from everyone else around you, you can stay after every day and do all this extra work, do all this stuff on your own, and that's awesome, I love it for you. You're helping our team a little bit, but if you keep letting people be average around you, it doesn't matter. It matters, it doesn't matter. Now on the flip side, guys, if you do call people out right now, if you don't let people cut corners, you will see a result that you're proud of later. Fuck your tired body. Fuck that unmotivated mind and get out there and do it anyway. You know, you better fight yourself because you're not only winning when things are going your way. You got to figure out how to win when things aren't going your way. Everybody knows you got to pay a price for winning, but most people aren't willing to pay it. They may pay it once, but literally you got to pay it every single day. And the crazy part about that is the price changes daily. Just like the stock market goes up and down, the price of winning changes on a daily, daily basis. And you gotta be willing to pay that price, whatever it is on that day. The path of least resistance never makes you happy. Mm. It's like, it does, you have to push yourself. When people talk about self-esteem, I hate this ter term. Like, so many kids were taught to get a participation trophy for something, and they thought, I'm gonna build their self-esteem this way. People can tell your whole life you're a piece of crap, and your brain can go, screw you, I'll show you, and you become somebody. People your whole life can tell you you're beautiful, you're perfect, you're the best, and you can still not believe them, be depressed about your life and think you're nobody. Your life self-esteem, your self-esteem, esteem for yourself is earned by you doing something difficult for you. So how, how big your life is and how successful you are in the physical realm is directly linked to how much stress you can deal with. And perhaps God's trying to break all of us. He's trying to find all of our limits. God is out here trying to ask me questions or put me through scenarios where I get to prove myself to him and perhaps that's why all the bad things happen. Maybe that's why that girl left you. Maybe that's why he made you love her so much so that she could break your heart and fuck your best friend on purpose so that you, to see how close you could come to breaking. Maybe that's what it's all about. Maybe that's the fun of it. When you really sit back at your life and you are in that dark room and you're looking at where you started from and you tell yourself, God, dog, man, my mom is this way, my soon as stepdad got murdered, my dad beat the shit out of me. I can't read and write to save my fucking soul. I lied about it to everybody. I cheated on all these tests. My God, man. And then you put a goal Bad. in your mind. 
How are you going to feel, man, when you accomplish this goal coming from that shit? Coming from the fucking hell you came from. A lot of people start from a good starting point. They have a good foundation. What if you can surpass all of these motherfuckers? What if everybody who was fucking way up here started up here and you had, you started with no legs. You had to grow fucking legs to even start walking and then crawling and then running. And then you start passing people with all this given to them. Stress primarily comes from not taking action over something that you can have some control over. So if I find that some particular thing is causing me to have stress, that's a, uh, a, a warning flag for me. What it means is there's something that I haven't completely identified perhaps in my conscious mind that is bothering me and I haven't yet taken any action on it. So stress comes from ignoring things that you shouldn't be ignoring, um, I think in large part. So what makes it hard is your lack of belief that it can happen for you. The fact of it is though, it's very doable. See, if but you gotta change though. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. We're not on this stage just because of talent or ability. We're up here because of 4 a.m. We're up here because of two-a-days or five-a-days. We're up here because we had a dream and let nothing stand in our way. If anything tried to bring us down, we used it to make us stronger. We were never satisfied, never finished, will never be retired. My high school English teacher, Mr. Fisk, I actually paid attention one time in class, and, and he said, he had this beautiful quote, and, he, and it read, rest at the end, not in the middle.